What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to build the Porta Paddle by American Morse Equipment. W6 AME builds these and sells them for super cheap. This here is a uh, Porta Paddle 2 kit um, and it's really small. This is, the, this is the base and it's only like two by one and a half inches. So it's super small, really compact, really good for portable operation, which is why I got it. Also, uh, I got it because it was $65, which is really excellent. I have not seen a paddle aside from like ones, the one I built um, during Missouri Cusa party that's built out of PCB boards and like spring steel really cheaply. Um, that has been this cheap. He even goes cheaper. Um, as you see here, this is like a nice brushed aluminum um, or gold brass type of stuff and it looks pretty but there's other ones uh, called the dirt cheap paddle and it's made out of rough cuts of aluminum so it's not quite pretty but it's way cheaper it's 45 dollars and it still serves the same purpose still does you know morse code great so if you're looking for a small paddle um, that's portable if you're looking to get into a morse code using a paddle and you don't want to spend you know break the bank check these out american morse equipment um i gotta go print out the manual because it says right here it doesn't come with a manual so i'll be right back so we got the manual, we've got the paddle, so let's get started. Thank you for purchasing an American Morse Porta Paddle 2 kit. We read this an easy kit to put together, but please read these instructions or at least look at the pictures before ripping open the parts bag. Oops, good idea to open the parts bag over a container. That is not a container, but I didn't lose anything, I'm pretty sure. So. Let's check the parts list and let's get to building. Woo! Well, so he wasn't wrong. It was pretty easy. Um, it only had like three thumb screws to screw, a couple things on the bottom, and yeah, it was very straightforward. You barely even need the instructions to do it. And look at that, it works great. But, here's the problem. How do we know it works? We need something to beep. We need an uh, electronic keyer. I think I have an idea. Ta-da! It's an electronic keyer by QRP guys. So the QRP guys are these, I guess, three guys as shown on the PCB that um, make little QRP kits. This is a CW keyer, so it has a little speaker, um, an iambic paddle input, and an output for a radio. So you can use um, a two, basically two conductor, see, one, two, one, two, and then the ground, uh, iambic paddle to control a one conductor radio. This outputs the dits and the daws. Whereas if you plug this into a straight key port uh, or a one conductor radio, which would be a straight key port, whatever, um, it would only give you daws on one and nothing on the other. Or, you know, it would be like a straight key. Da, da, da. And if you hit this, it would be nothing, or vice versa, depending on how you wire it. So we're gonna build this. It's a solder kit, it is only through holes, so it's super easy. I print out the instructions. I also check out their website, they have a lot of cool kits. Um, like an iambic paddle, kind of like this, but made out of circuit board material, and um, an infed half wave tuner, and a bunch of other stuff. So this one's a green difficulty out of out of red, from blue to red, I guess, um, from you know easy to surface mount technology. So all right, so let's just dig right in. First, familiarize yourself with the parts and check for all the components. If a part is missing, please contact us, and we will send one. Let, oh, I like it's a Ziploc bag. That means I can keep stuff that is left over, which happens sometimes, a lot of the times. So here's the board. All surface, or all, all through holes. So this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. These guys. Battery, dip, dip socket, switch, 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 diode, diode. Connector, connector, header, header, header. Jumper, transistor, yes, one, seven, zero, speaker. Um, headphone jack, minis, jumper, cap, and that is it. Okay, let's do it! So I've only gotten, you know, 99% of the way through the parts of this, but this is interesting. Berg connectors. I've never heard of these shorting clips, pins, thingies that go over headers to short them. 
called that, so today I learned. Boop. Berg. easy. Um, the only trouble I had was the fact that I have diagonal cutters rather than like flat flush nippy cutter cutters so that's a difficulty especially with these like close transistor pins, the diodes, and the capacitor. But everything else was perfectly easy to do even with my iron which is pretty carbonized at the moment. I need to get new tips. I got this iron pretty recently on eBay. Also, the cats are fighting in the background, so don't mind them. No solder bridges. All we need to do is plug in the battery. I don't have a CR2032, which is what it wants, but I do have a 2025, so let's see how it does. But how do you use it? Well, I should need, shouldn't I? First of all, I think we need a cable to connect this to this. Probably a good idea. So I don't have a cable, but in lieu of that, I have a pair of headphones that I haven't used in years with the connector I want. <laughs> and we're left with a long headphone cable and some junk. There we go. Ooh, I did that on accident. That's kind of neat. So on these wires is, a, is an enamel coating. That's why this wire looks blue. I can't tell if you can tell. But it's just made of, uh, made of plastic or epoxy or enamel or whatever. So all you gotta do is get a nice blob of solder on your iron and just hold the wire in the, um, in the solder blob. And you can kind of see the color starts to blacken and smokes off, bubbles off. You can also use a lighter, but this way gets the uh, wire already tinned. See, there's this blob of solder already hanging there and now all the wires are tinned very nicely. Let's get some more on this guy. These two um, copper colored wires are the ground, which corresponds to the um, ring or the shield, sleeve, whatever it's called, this bottom one. And then this is the ring, this is the tip. I don't know what blue and green is, but you can change the settings in the keyer to determine the polarity of the panel, so we'll deal with that later. Let's see how it preforms, performs, whatever. Paddles, go into the right one. It works! Ah! It's backwards though, let's fix this. So on here, you have the paddle preference. These two jumpers here. You have the ring da and the tip dit. That's where it is right now. So I'm gonna switch those both over to my left. And you can get the polarity right. So I'm used to having dits on my thumb, which is the left paddle. Now it's good. I don't really know Morse code that well, so that's about it. All right. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that little time-lapse build. I will go into detail if you want how to put these together, but they are very easy things to follow. And even if you want me to show you how to solder, um, I could do that too, and I plan on it. So let's talk about this little porta pad, or not the porta paddle, but the uh, um, mini keyer. Uh, it runs on a PIC microcontroller, and it has a bunch of cool little features like command and two messages you can store into it. So if you want to increase the speed, so it starts out pretty slow at 15 words per minute. So if you want to increase the speed, you hit command and you hear C. And you use this as the input device. You don't have to plug in the pick to reprogram it or anything. To increase the speed, you hit T, which is DA. And you keep hitting it until you get to the speed you want. There is 31 increments uh, between 6 and 45 words per minute. 
So I'll just go, and you can kind of hear the T get shorter and shorter. When you're done, you send the character D, which is da did it. And it says R, and I messed up that D, as you heard, because it's really fast now. And now it will play really fast. I'm a pro at this. So now I've got it too fast and I want to slow it down. Hit command, you hit your C, and then use the dit to slow it down. And you can start to hear it slow down. And then when you're done, send the character D. You hear it was a little bit slower, so now it's a lot slower. It also has a message feature. It will send, it will store and send two messages which you program with the Morse code key. So if you hit message one, hold it down for about a half second, it sends the letter M. And then it's ready to take your message. That was my call sign. When you're done, hold down the letter M, or the message button. It says S for saved or stored. And now if you hit message button one, it will send it. Cool. So I kind of wonder if it will increase the speed of the message if I increase this more code speed. So I hit command, speed it up, T, 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 five times, and then D. So now it's, now will it be as fast? Yes. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or need any help building such things as, you know, kits from QRP guys or the Dirt Cheat Paddle or this paddle in particular, just let me know in the comments. I am super willing to do that. And if you want to learn how to solder, let me know so I can see how many people want that. Thanks for watching. It's 73 from N0SSC.